this is how we can manage the things otherwise we will be out of contest we will be out of market i'm telling you so many times it's happened like uh, people are working in the company and they are not able to switch the company the regions the changes in the technology while you are going for the interviews what people are expecting from you they are always expecting like you are up to date you are ready with the, all the new contents and all so this is what exactly and i am telling you with every technology so many rapid changes are there like we just need to adjust the changes okay so this particular batch that we are going to start with this batch it belongs to rpa or robotic process automation and it's about the pad pad means what i am talking about the power automate desktop i am talking about the power automate desktop Uh, remember in this entire rpa right now in the market the most demanding one is the ui path but now from last one year the pattern is when you are going for the ui path maximum of the company they are using the ui path but now because in the ui path licensing is the major issue in the ui path the licensing is the major issue recently in our company we purchased one license on attended license and it cost the company it's around 10 lakhs inr 10 lakhs there was the meeting with the ui path team i am telling you i was also the part of that meeting with the ui path licensing team the cost of the license was like it's drastically get increase now like the costing of the ui path is very high licensing is the major issues with the ui path knowledge so now what exactly company is looking for now the company is trying to move with the pad power automate desktop why they are trying to move with the power automate desktop the reason is like maximum of the automation work we can do definitely like right now the power automate desktop these are the new things in the market 2 3 years old we can say so right now these are the new things in the market it's not as rich as uh, ui path but good thing about this power automate desktop is it's a product of microsoft number 1 microsoft have the credibility in the market number 1 number 2 good thing about the pad is license and everything it's very nominal like they are charging you so that's the good thing due to so due to the licensing and all due to the licensing and all nowadays maximum of the company they are moving towards the power automate desktop even though you are going for the interviews it might be the interview is going to schedule for the power automate desktop or it might be your interview is going to schedule for the ui path but still the people are going to ask you the questions about the power automate desktop and if your answer is going to be yes definitely you will be the preference because what i believe because i am also from the microsoft background i am telling you my core background was the dotnet after the dotnet i switched with the ui path so at present i am working with the ui path but now my company is also switching towards the power automate desktop what are trying to do for the simple auto see every time we don't require the high level automation every time we don't require the enterprise level of automation like we require the normal automation read the data from the pdf read the data from this write the data in this send the mail to the client so the power automate desktop we can all do we can apply all these automations and all and due to the licensing cost and everything nowadays people are moving toward the power automate desktop so this particular batch that we are going to start with it's about the power automate desktop so we are just going to learn about this power automate desktop so first of all when i am talking about this rpa 
what exactly this RPA is? RPA it's all about the automation. Here we are going to apply the automation. What exactly the automation I am talking about? Automation means what? What are the manual process we have? Robotic process automation. Robotic means mimic the human action. Robotic means mimic the human action. As a human being, what we can do with the machine? My robot is also going to do the same thing with the machine. Robot means here I am talking about the logical robot. Means we are talking about the programs. We are not talking about the physical robot. We are not going to make any physical robot. We are just talking about the programs. So what I am talking about robotic means mimic the human action. Means our program is going to do the same thing as a human being what we can do with the computer. Suppose we have the Excel data. That data we need to put in the invoice. We have 100 client. Our Excel data is there in the Excel. I want to generate the invoice. My invoice template is available in the MS Word. We are getting data from the Excel. We are going to put the data into the MS Word. We are going to apply the mail merge. We are getting the invoice. We are getting the PDF of that. We are sending the mail to the client. This is the simple example I am giving you. Like uh, why, what exactly this RPA? So RPA is all about the automation. Here we are going to implement the automation. Under the RPA, we have the multiple tools. We have the UI path. We have the blue prism. We have the automation anywhere. We have the nice. We have the Pega. And we have a pad also, power automate desktop also. This particular batch we are going to start for the power automate desktop because power automate desktop nowadays in modern scenario in RPA, every company now they are looking for the power automate desktop. So this is the right time if you want to switch the job, if you are looking for some new interviews and all, and you want to crack that interviews, even in your ex existing job, you want to apply the RPA, the automations all. This is the perfect choice we have the Power Automate Desktop. The good thing about the Power Automate Desktop is it's not required the coding. More or less we can say it's not coding is required. Or basically I am from the programming background and as a developer lot of typical things we need to do. So I cannot say no. Uh, like we can say it's a less coding is required. You don't need to write the too much lines of the code like you people are writing in the UI path. Even though in the UI path we don't need to write the lines of the code, but one line of the code, two lines of the code that we need to implement. Even that much of lines of the code we don't need to write in the Power Automate desktop. Here we have the actions, here we have the activities, we are going to implement that. So good thing about this Power Automate desktop is, even if you are not from the technical background. So many times people are asking me the question, uh, Santos, uh, I am not from the technical background. I don't have the technical background. Can we do this RP and all? My answer is if you can operate the machine, if you can handle the machine, if you can open the browser, if you can open the MS Office, if you can work with the tally, if you are going to open the software and all. Means if you are familiar with the operating system, the Windows, the MS Office and all, you are perfect to join the RPA and you can do the automations and all. So no need to worry about the coding practices and all. Because here we don't require too much of the lines of the code and that we don't need to write. Okay, so that's the good thing about the Power Automate desktop. It's a less coding is required. And in compared to other tools, it's not going to be the complex. Because I'm telling you in the UI path and all, like so many things are there. Sometimes people are facing the problem. Like if they need to implement that, a lot of steps they need to follow. So because so many things are there, so there is some problem like People are facing the problem, but in the Power Automate desktop, it's everything is straightforward. You just need to understand the pattern and you are going to implement that. For everything, here we have the actions. We are just going to drag the actions. It's drag and drop. We are dragging the tool. We are dragging the options over there, the actions and all. And we are going to work with that. So it's not complex. That's the good thing about the Power Automate desktop. This entire Power Automate desktop this particular session that we are going to take it around takes around two months because it's a weekend session our session is basically it's a saturday and sunday session only it's a saturday and sunday session only it's a saturday and sunday session only for two hours but again honestly speak like some of the time it's happened like two hours is so many content we all like we are going to cover within the two hours 
because you need to do the practice also so it's not like that i am going to make the thing like for the 2 hours and it's going to be complex for you because once it's going to be complex for you definitely you are going to ignore that so i am not going to make the things like too complex for you so what we are going to do like we are going to take the session we are going to cover the topics once i feel like okay this topic up to this is perfectly fine so you are just going to do the the thing and next day we are going to continue with the next stuff so it's going to take around two months because a lot of things are there that we need to do so it's going to take around two months and our session schedule is basically for two hours but it might be one and a half hour it might be two and a half hours but a standard like we can consider like it's going to be the two hour and it's only saturday and sunday session our saturday timing will be the same like it will be in the evening and sunday timing it will be slightly flexible by maybe we are going to uh, arrange the session in the afternoon so basically it's a sunday like i can understand like everyone is in the job and all so people are trying to get some time for themselves so we are just going to keep the session in the afternoon so you people are also going to free and i am also going to be free otherwise if someone having the problem we can put the session at 5 pm ist or 6 pm ist we can do that so slightly changes with the schedule the timing in on sunday it's not saturday saturday this will be a fixed time like it's around this time after every session you people are going to get the recording the recording will be there the notes will be there i am going to share the google drive link i am going to sell, uh, share the google drive link and that you need to download with your machine that you need to download with your machine because and uh, because that google drive link might be i am going to remove the google from it from google drive after 5 days after 10 days after 20 days because i am using 6 or 7 google drive it's around 100 gb and that 100 gb storage is going to be full in 10 15 days so i need to remove the old recording and all so I, this is my regular practice so always i am suggesting everyone don't believe on the link this link is temporarily it's going to work for only 2 3 days 4 days and after that maybe the link is not available so every time i am going to send you the google drive link all that recording you need to download because after 5 days after 10 days after 15 days that recording might be not available with the google drive it can be but maximum possibility will be like you are not going to get the recording for there in this entire session like uh, see learning the things is perfectly fine but while you are learning the things if we are trying to implement something that is most important thing like i am talking about the use cases so during the entire session we are going to do all use cases we are going to do the complex task it's very easy for me like i just going to apply the the actions one by one here we have the actions so i am just going to apply the actions means we are going to read the excel we are going to write in excel we are going to read the pdf for that purpose we have the actions different actions are there so it's very easy for me one by one i'm just going to read the uh, going through all the actions but it's not going to help you out you need to understand the practical scenario like so we are just going to do all the things and maximum of the time i will try to cover all the scenarios and everything within the session itself so once you are going to get the recording and you if you are going to do the practice with all these stuff it's going to be more than enough so our target will be like we are going to do some A small, a small kind of project also over there. So you will get the clear understanding like how we are going to start with the project, how we are going to end the project. Because earlier my statement was there, it's not going to be complex. Like if I need to develop any particular project in the UI path, I need to think about lot of things. I need to think, and then I am going to apply the project. But in the Power Automate desktop, we don't have that much of complexity. It's really simple. so what we need to do if i need to implement any projects and all because in like the people who is from the ui path background they can understand like in the ui path every time we are going to apply the ri framework and so like we have some templates and all that we are going to implement in the power automate desktop we don't have so in power automate desktop we have just the actions and all and we are going to integrate that now when we are going to learn about the power automate desktop and we are going to learn about the power automate desktop some of the time for the complex task some of the time for the complex task we required some coding exposure also we required suppose some complex task i am talking about we required some coding exposure also because 
in the power automate desktop the good thing about the power automate desktop is you can integrate the code like if you have some code in the written in the dotnet if you have some code written in python if you have some code written in the javascript that we can integrate with the power automate desktop the same like the other tools like the ui path so you can integrate the code so we are also going to learn how to integrate the code and all so definitely we need to understand the few basic things with the ui like the python we need to understand the few basic things in the c sharp and all and i will show you how we are going to integrate them. so some languages we are also going to get the expo get the exposure of that definitely we are not going to be the master of the languages but we are going to understand the basics of the languages so some of the time if we need to integrate that language we are not going to face any problem other than the language because the power automate desktop having the good connections with the sql server because sql server is again the product of the microsoft and in the maximum databases people are using the sql server so we are also going to integrate the power automate desktop with the sql server so before integrating the power automate desktop with the sql server we also need to understand how to install the sql server how to start working in the sql server how we are going to write code in the sql server that part also we need to do got my point so we are also going to learn about that so in the entire power automate desktop this is just the overview like the course duration and everything what you are going to get so in the entire power automate desktop what we are going to learn so better i am going to open the power automate desktop for you so i am just going to write like power automate this is the icon we have so i am just going to put this power automate desktop in front of you and accordingly i am going to show you what are the things we are going to cover remember every automation when we are going to start with in any automation tools in any automation work what we need to do i am going to open this i'm not uh, starting with the power automate desktop today i'm just going to give you the all views like what are the things we are covering and all so don't need to worry about like how we are going to get the software or how you start that so no need to worry about because my focus is just to get the understanding about the course content the duration the entire things like how the process will be there so these are the things we have these are the things we have number 1 here we don't have like uh, only these things are there w why i am saying only because here we don't have the options uh, like uh, in the other like the ui path and all like we have the option we can include the other packages and all so here we don't have that kind of options over here so what we are going to learn about initially we are going to learn about all the basics because once we are going to start with any particular software at first we need to understand the basics how we are going to take the input how we are going to display how we are going to apply the if how we are going to apply the loop how we are going to apply the break how we are going to apply the continue so at first we are going to learn about all the basics these are the conditionals these are the loops so initially we are going to learn about all the basics once the basic will be get completed basic get completed so what we need to do we need to work with the a small a small functions over there like suppose i want to manipulate the text i want to work with the date and time suppose we have the name suppose we have the name and i want to get the initial of the name i want to reverse the string i want to break the string so what i am talking about i am talking about how we are going to manipulate the text all these functions are there so we are going to learn about how we are going to manipulate the text and all after that we are going to learn about how we are going to work with the date and time how we are going to work because lot of manipulations we need to apply with the date and time and all so we are going to learn about that so these are the basics the first we are going to cover this after this our automation journey will start during the entire automation always i am saying like whatever the tool you are using during the entire automation the most important thing is the excel automation and always my statement is and still the same statement is there 
always my statement is if you are familiar with the x automation in any technology either in the ui path or in the power automate desktop or in the blue prism if you can manipulate the excel if you can play with the excel you can say like your 40 percent part is completed if you are very much comfortable with the excel if you can work with the dynamic data if you can work with the dynamic excel if you can work with the dynamic formulas and all so if you are familiar with all the concept of the excel automation you can consider your 40 percent rpa is completed because those who is working with the ui path those who is working with the rpa they can understand this line so what i am saying like if you are going to work with this like the excel automation part so it's going to cover the 40 percent the entire automation so here we are going to start our journey with the excel automations and doing this excel automations we are going to do all the stuff all the complex cases and everything we are going to apply and remember one important thing if you are coming from some other background if you are coming from some other background in compared to other applications the other tools here we have the less options over there so using the less option how we can achieve the maximum because people are expecting the same result so the problem is here we don't have that much of actions here we have action these are basically the action if i am going to apply something if i am going to suppose i need to apply this this is what this is the actions we have it's going to extract the text from the pdf so these are action i am talking about so what i am saying like under the excel automation here we have we don't have the too much options over there we have the limited options but with the limited options we are going to achieve everything whatever the task you have whatever the scenarios we are going to put in front of you we are going to work with that so initially we are going to learn about all the everything about the excel automation this is the first thing after this excel automations what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the pdf automation this is the another thing we have we are going to apply the ocr and this pdf automation is always the part of the automation framework like every time lot of things we need to do the pdf either you are going to read the pdf you are going to get the images from the pdf you are going to get the text from the pdf you are going to get the tables from the pdf you are going to write something in pdf so lot of things we need to do in the pdf automation some of the time it's happen like you have the image and that image is going to contain the text so you need to read the text that's available with the image for that purpose we are going to apply the ocr and all so we are going to learn about the pdf automations after this these all are the initial things that we are going to learn for the automation purpose so we are going to learn about the pdf automations other than the pdf automation we are going to learn about the word automation because these are the always like when we are talking about the automation ultimately what we need to do we need to integrate the multiple tools we need to integrate the multiple applications like suppose we have the excel our data is in excel we need to read that we need to put the data into the doc file word file after it putting the data to the doc file we are going to get the pdf and all once we, our pdf is going to be finalized so we need to understand all these things so we are going to learn about all the excel automation the pdf automation the word automations and all after that we are just going to learn about how we are going to apply the mail automations part how we are going to send the mail how we are going to receive the mail how we are going to download the attachment how we are going to upload the attachment how we are going to apply the filter how we are going to work with the gmail how we are going to work with the outlook everything we are going to learn over there so these are the basic thing initially that we're going to cover on the basis of all these definitely we are going to work with some projects all. so your entire concept will get clear so initially we are going to learn about all basics after basics we are going to start with the automations and we are going to do all these stuff over there regarding the automation in the companies and all when we are going to work with the power of my desktop maximum of time these are the technology like these are different automations that we need to apply here i am talking about after this what we need to this is the part of the automation that like you can say like these are the core things these are the core of the technology these are the basics before starting with the any automations like before starting with the rpa like before you are going to go into the deep with any technology 
you need to understand this if you are familiar with all these stuff in any technology then only you can start your journey now what we need to do we are talking about like rpa it's all about the automation it's not only reading the excel or reading the pdf or reading the doc file or reading the sending the mail in rpa suppose what i need to do i need to collect the data from the word like website suppose i want to collect i want to build the data and i want to get the data from the website i want to scrap the data from the website for that purpose what we require we require the web automation part i am talking about so we are just going to learn about the web automations during web automations also we are going to deep dive with the selectors and all we are going to learn about the uh, record how we are going to apply the record suppose i need to do the multiple task so one option is manually you are going to do the task and the second option is you are going to apply the recording and the recording is going to record all the actions and once all the actions will get recorded we can customize that so i am talking about the web automation part the selectors the recording i am talking about the scrapping suppose i need to scrap the data so we are just going to learn about all these things you can see like this is the another part of the rpa that always we need to learn because ultimately rpa is all about the integration it's all about the automation we are going to integrate the things so during the integration it might be our data will be available in the website from the website i need to get the data i need to put the data in the excel from the excel i need to apply the mail merge i will get the data into the doc file from the doc file i am going to generate the pdf and from the pdf that pdf i am going to send the mail to the clients and all so we are just going to learn about all this stuff over there okay now so we are just going to learn this i am just going to keep this thing in front of you so you will get the clear understand what are the things we are going to cover so it's about the here we are talking about like the variables the conditions the loop the flow control the run flow run flow is basically suppose we have the multiple flow here we are going to create the flow so suppose you have the multiple flow i want to invoke the flow for that purpose we are using the run flow like we can divide our program into the smaller and smaller segment suppose in my entire project i need to do the three things reading the pdf reading the doc file sending the mail so i am going to create a separate program i am going to create a separate file for reading the pdf i am going to create a separate file for reading the doc file i am going to create a separate file for sending the mail okay and then further what i will do i will call that particular workflow into the main subflow so here we have the option run subflow other than the run subflow here we have the option like it's going to handle the process it's going to handle the windows process suppose my process get started suppose i am going to read the excel but before reading the excel i want to check like how many instances of excel is created in the background if excel suppose might be sometime we are facing the problem like excel is not going to open the acrobat reader is not going to open sometime the browser is not going to open so how we are going to close the task how we are going to wait for the process so this is all about handling the windows environment suppose i need to send the send the set the variables and all i need to send the path how we are going to do that for that purpose we are using all these systems this is about the work stations we have how we are going to apply the print document how we are going to send the printers and all how we are going to take the screenshot here we have the scripting that i was talking about how we are going to use the javascript how we are going to use the powershell how we are going to write the python script i am telling you no suppose i need to, recently my task was what exactly my task was i am telling you i applied the python python script but i did exactly my task was like we have the pdf client is going to provide us the pdf and suppose the pdf is like this name and i'm going to put this suppose we have the address and my task was just to put this this is my pdf client is going to put give us the pdf so challenge was like you have the data in the excel might be you have the data in the excel so i need to read data from the excel and i need to write the data in this location i am getting the name i need to write the name in this location and remember this one is the pdf so my task was just to put the data to the pdf so it was writing the data into the pdf how we did that we apply the python so we created the script for the python that script we invoked with the ui like the uh, in basically it was the in the ui path so we call that in the ui path so what i am trying to say 
some of the time it's required like you need to invoke some other libraries or other classes languages stuff for that purpose we have all these options over there so we are going to do that it's about the file and all suppose we need to apply the file handling we need to create file we need to create the folder we need to delete the folder we need to delete the file suppose the client is saying santos do one thing take the backup for the 10 days and after 10 days you remove all everything according to the client because whenever you are to going to take the backup suppose we have the data of 1 gb and that 1 gb data every day we are going to get after 10 days it is going to be 10 gb so client is giving me the instruction like santos do one thing after 3 days that folder has to remove that file has to remove what i am going to do i am going to apply the file i am going to delete file so this is about the file and folder handling how we are going to handle the file and how we are going to handle the folder we are going to all this this is about the zip file and zip file and all in the power automate desktop everything is straight forward in front of you if you are getting this option think about this is about the ui automation <coughs> ui automation means ui means we are talking about the user interface we have the button we have the text box we need to click on the button we need to get the, so i am talking about might be the windows application and might be from the website from the website i want to get the data i want to put the data over there for that purpose we are going to apply the ui automation under the ui automation we have the data extraction how we are going to extract the data how we are going to fill the form to filling form you need to put the cursor to the text field you need to put the property over there you need to get the value from the radio button you need to get the value from the check box all these things we are going to do regarding the form filling here we have the windows like we are going to apply desktop we are going to apply the tab in another windows and all so it's about the ui automation here we have the http why we are using this http suppose i want to invoke the web api i want to call the web api how we are going to call the web api web api is basically http based protocol we will discuss about that web api web api is basically the service they are providing suppose my client is saying santos do one thing like during the automation do one thing i want to display the temperature of delhi i need to display the temperature the current temperature of delhi or i need to display the minimum or maximum temperature of the delhi or we have the excel in excel we have the worldwide we have the list of the city and what you need to do you need to fill the temperature of the entire city my answer can be i don't have the satellite and i cannot give you the answer of this no i am not going to give this answer i don't have a satellite but i have the api so what i am going to do i am going to get the api the weather api those organizations having the satellite they are providing the api some of the time they are sharing the uh, like they are giving you the api access through the like uh, they are charging the amount for that or some of the time it's going to be free so we are going to use the api so my question is if we have the api how we are going to get the data from there for that purpose we have the http under the http we have the two options either we are going to apply the soap based api web api or xml based api so we will discuss about that so how we are going to integrate with the http here we have the browser automation how we are going to handle the browser how we are going to launch the browser how we are going to open the browser suppose some process is going on in the background you need to wait we are going to wait i need to check that particular web page exist or not it's going to contain that thing or not so it's about the browser automation that i'm talking about it's about the excel it's about the database the sql server i am talking about how we are going to work with the sql server how we are going to execute the command how we are going to use the stored post your functions and all it's about the mail automations this is about the exchange server i don't have the exchange server access and all so definitely we are not going to do that if someone having the knowledge of the exchange server exchange server is also i think just like the outlook and all so it's a kind of mail server you have so you can also use that exchange server it's about the outlook i will give you the explore of this how we are going to use this it's about the message boxes it's about the mouse and the keyboard how we are going to control the mouse how we are going to handle the keyboard how we are going to press the key how we are going to press the mouse how we are going to apply the mouse hover i am going to put the cursor over there i am going to lift the cursor from there i am going to click on this for that purpose we have it's about the clipboard our data is there in the clipboard and all how we are going to apply the copy paste basically 
is the clipboard API they are talking about. It's about the text, the date time, the PDF, the CMD session. Some of the application is going to work in the command prompt. Command prompt means I am talking about this CMD. I am talking about this CMD. Command prompt. Some of the time, this black window, we need to integrate. We need to automate this. For that purpose, here we have the CMD session. Here we have OCR. This terminal emulation we are using for the mainframe. I don't have the access for that, so we are not going to do this. Here we are talking about the window service, the XML. How we are going to read the XML, how we are going to work with that. This is about the FTP. I can give you the idea what exactly that. So basically FTP is basically used to download the files and all. So we can use the FTP, like you can open the FTP, you can connect with that FTP and all. Normally we are using the file gila, different types of softwares and all. And these are the options, like you can connect with the Azure, you can connect with the AWS and all. We are not going to do that because all these are basically it's a different options you have. Suppose you want to integrate with the SAP. So you require SAP over there. Suppose you want to integrate with the AWS and all. You require the AWS account and all. So we are not going to do that. Got the point? So these are the options that we are going to cover. So everything we are going to cover, what exactly the people are looking for in the companies and all. Because what I was talking about, like during this entire automation journey, like see, suppose I want to integrate the SAP. So once you are familiar with the Power Automate desktop and you have the access of the SAP, you can do that. Once you are familiar with the technology and if you need to do the integration with the mainframe computer. So if you have the access of the mainframe, you can do that. But the most important thing, you should familiar with the technology first. So this is what exactly the entire course content we have. During the entire course content, you are going to get the notes recording. Everything will be there. We are also going to work with the projects and all. So this is all about the course content, the timing, the duration and every detail there. So anyone having any questions, any queries from your side? Anything you would like to discuss? Yeah. Yeah, there the cyber arc one what criteria is there uh, one uh, activity is there right yeah what is that basically cyber arc what exactly is that suppose i need to put the credentials okay okay and one more thing uh, automation anywhere means command uh, all all the criteria called as commands ui path into activities here means here here we have the actions actions Okay, fine. And one more thing, here covering the, we won't cover the any cloud apps? No, 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 we are not going to cover that. The reason is like for that purpose, I need to purchase the license and everything for that. What my point? So definitely like on personal level, I am not going to purchase any license for this. Like in uh, real time projects, uh, this See, one is good enough for the... to say, Listen, I hmm. got your point. What I am trying to say, hmm. like if you have the knowledge of the particular technology, and then if mm. you are going to open that particular activity, if you have the understanding of the technology, definitely you can try, to, you can integrate that. Ultimately what you need to do, you just need to put the credentials and all, and you are going to connect with that. Understood. Yeah. So basically see, one technology nowadays what happened, like one technology is going to link with so many technologies. Now the problem yes, is, right. yeah, the problem is like I am telling you, like I am taking the basis for other like the UI. I am not going to cover the uh, like uh, uh, the the mainframe and all because I don't have the access of that. I am not going to cover the SAP with that. So try to understand, like every technology is going to be linked with other technology. But once you are familiar with the technology and if you have the access of the other technology, with slightly see. Always I'm saying no, that technology is the kind of thing that always keep growing. Like you need to explore sometimes. So suppose I need to make with the connections with the AWS and all. So definitely we have activities that you need to explore. And if you have the, you are familiar with that, so you are easily, you can do that. Okay. So this is what exactly the course content and every detail is there. This particular batch, it's a VN batch. It's a Saturday and Sunday we have the session. What I will do, I will create a separate group for all of you. Yeah, one important thing that I would like to share. What I will do, I will create the separate group for all of you. Yeah, one important thing that I would normally, <laughs> like uh, it's a really a tough task for me to discuss all these things. But 
we need to be transparent so about the fee that i am charging for this power automatic stop normally i am charging 7300 this is my price like this is the fee that i am charging from last 5 years with all the technologies maximum of the technologies but for this particular batch because it's a weekend batch for this batch the charges is only 5000 that i am charging for this power automatic desktop number one number two once you are going to make the like fees and all, we are going to create a separate group we are going to create the separate group in that particular group whatsapp group will be there in that particular group you are going to get the link you are going to get the notes and everything will be there link will be there the notes will be there suppose our session is on saturday and sunday during the practice you are facing the problem anytime you can text me you no need to worry about anytime you can text me because my availability with the computer is around 18 hours around 18 hours i am available with the computer so you no need to worry about if you are facing the problem on monday definitely you are facing the problem on monday so my responsibility is to resolve that problem immediately so if you are going to text me it might not immediate but might be after one hour two hours you are going to get the solutions from my side if you have some a small problem anytime we can connect anytime we can connect like for the quick mail like quick link I, I can share with you and we can connect and we can resolve that so it's a saturday set, sunday session so session will be on saturday sunday but we can make the connect we can connect anytime like monday to friday we can connect anytime but definitely you also need to take care like i'm also like uh, the job and all so i also need to take care of that but definitely i'm going to take care of all this suppose you have some problem you are going to text me might be after four hours i'm going to respond to you and might be i'm going to send you the link we can connect and we can resolve that so this is the entire thing like people are saying like about the interviews and all you no need to worry about if you are going to cover the entire session properly all the interview questions and everything we are going to cover properly different use cases will be the different assignments will be there if you are going to cover all these assignment up to one year two year of experience you can justify with the power to desktop if you are going for the interviews and if you are saying you have the exposure of one year definitely the project that we are going to do like uh, you can justify that okay we completed that project and all and you are going to explain the entire project what people are looking for when you are going to join any company they are looking for if i am going to give you any particular project independently can you do that so if you have the entry and the exit of the project if you are familiar where we need to start where we need to make it in so if you are familiar with that you can do that so all these kind of support will be there so no need to worry about the support and everything and all <laughs> Yeah, anyone having any question? Uh, your uh, voice yeah. is breaking out. I'm not. Uh, okay, you are talking individually. Okay, so anyone having any questions, please? Anything from your side? We are going to start this particular session. What is your RPA? What is Power Automate Desktop? how we are going to install the power automate desktop we are going to start this session from tomorrow today my agenda was you people should get familiar with the entire content get justified like no doubts should be in your mind what are the things we are going to cover everything i describe in front of you so also we have the recording and everything i am going to share that so tomorrow we have the session in case of any individual question you have you can connect with me personally and we can solve that so tomorrow again we have the session in the evening itself it will be around 6 pm or 5 pm we will keep the session so tomorrow we have the session and we will start with the first session about the installation configuration all basics we are going to learn in case of any problem you have you can connect with me anytime and you can like we can resolve that okay sure sir so, oh. Santosh, I have a question, but I want to discuss separately with you. No so, problem, no problem. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Anubit. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the morning, we have the panda session. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, Santosh. Right. Okay, Prashant. Yeah, I mean, now you can tell me your questions and all.
Tab Vikash. Vikash is also there, so now you people kiss this. Hello. 